Welcome to the next match in the recreated history of the WWCA. Canadian Championship Wrestling on Friday nights in Ottawa continued. And here's what happened in between championship matches. Remember, remember uh, we only will show championship matches, tournament matches, and or pay-per-views when we get to that point. On February 24th in Ottawa, Bronco Nagurski defeated Andrew Toughman Connor in 17 minutes and 28 seconds. The Cardiff Giant defeated Ted Riley in 7 minutes and 24 seconds by pinfall. Pierre Vinette defeated Shawn Michelson by pinfall in 23 minutes and 43 seconds. Bronco Nagurski defeated Al Mills as he wrestled a second match, winning that one by pinfall in 12 minutes and 26 seconds. On March 3rd from Ottawa, Baron Horst Mueller defeated Danny Dusick in 20 minutes and 33 seconds. The Cardiff Giant defeated Andrew Toughman Connor in 11 minutes 19 seconds. And Wallace Montgomery defeated Edward Williams by pinfall in 20 minutes and 59 seconds. On March 10th, 1950 from Ottawa, Ed Don George defeated Vic Christie by pinfall in 33 minutes and 25 seconds. Then Al Mills defeated Tex Riley by pinfall in 6 minutes and 37 seconds. The Canadian Destroyer and Shawn Michelson went to a double disqualification at 11 minutes and 20 seconds. On March 17th, Whipper Billy Watson defeated Conrad Williams in a 2 out of 3 falls match, 2 falls to 1 in 55 minutes and 19 seconds. On March 24th, Martin Bernal defeated Pierre Vinette by pinfall in 14 minutes and 27 seconds. Chief Brown Bear defeated Carol Fadden by pinfall in 28 minutes and 16 seconds. And Bronco Nagurski defeated Warren Bockwinkel in 13 minutes and 11 seconds. On March 31st, Pierre Vinette defeated Lance Parker by pinfall in 14 minutes and 27 seconds. Arnold Adam Allen defeated Sinjay Magamuchi by pinfall in 26 minutes and 14 seconds. And Chief Brown Bear defeated... Carol Fadden by pinfall for a number one contenders match in 6 minutes and 41 seconds. That was number one contender for the Canadian Heavyweight Championship. On April 7th, the Canadian Destroyer defeated Baron Horst Mueller by pinfall in 15 minutes and 48 seconds. And that brings us to April 14th, 1950, as Vern Gagne is set to defend the title against the number one contender, Chief Brown Bear, live from Ottawa, Ontario on Canadian television, Canadian Championship Wrestling. Let's go down to the match. Varn Gagne has been champion since February 17th. This will be his first televised title defense. He's had several non-televised title defenses. Chief Brown Bear, a relative newcomer to the Canadian wrestling scene, comes to us out of Colquitlam, British Columbia, Canada. The 27-year-old is making his first champion, having his first championship opportunity. Vern Gagne, 23, 24 years old now, out of Robbinsdale, Minnesota. He had a birthday during this title reign. As always, the uh, Canadian Championship matches are two out of three falls match in this time frame. And there is the Chief, Chief Brown Bear, out of British Columbia. A barefoot wrestler. What a beautiful headdress he has. A native Canadian. And he will be taking on the Canadian heavyweight champion, Vern Gagne. Five foot eleven, two hundred and sixteen pounds, a former football player, turned professional wrestler. Has just over a year under his belt as he began his in-ring career in, in March or May. 
sorry. March of 1949. Introducing the challenger from Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds. Brown Baron. Chief Brown Bear out of Coquitlam, British Columbia. Making his way to the ring from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the heavyweight champion, Van Gang. Vern Gagne. <clears throat> his first televised title defense. He's been champion for 56 days so far. The second Canadian heavyweight champion. It is a 60 minute time limit. You will see the timer up in the corner. And Brown Bear starts off with a go behind and a takedown. And right into a headlock. Oh, a bit of a cheap shot from Brown Bear. Running press. Take down. Kicking Ganya while he's down. When the title is on a line, men will do anything sometimes to win a title. Ganya with an uppercut. Looking for a souffle. Brown Bear reverses it, and Ganya is over the top rope. Brings him back in the ring. Gone in with a double underhook. Into a souffle. Ooh, running knee lift. Kicking Brown Bear right in the face. Hard right hand. Whips Brown Bear in the corner and follows in with a diving splash. And now what's Gagne going to do? He's going to stomp on the Chief while he's down. Gagne with a double axe handle. Ooh, a head, but oh, but Brown Bear's head was harder than Gagne thought. And I think Gagne's bleeding already. Nope, maybe it was just a hair out of place. Gunny reversing it. Whips Brown Bear. And a drop kick from behind. Tremendous move. Gunny with a snap mare takedown. And he's going to lock on a key lock. Lifting Brown Bear right off the mat. Trying to get him to force a submission just over two minutes into this first fall. Brown Bear refusing to give in so far. And Gunny lets him go. Against the ropes. What's Ganya going for now? Oh, he drops him across the top rope. What a devastating move that is in 1950. Brown Bear reversing an arm ringer into a punch and a clothesline from the Chief. This could working on the leg could be setting up for that Indian deathlock. Standing suplex into a backdrop almost and brown bear working out a kink in his shoulder as he stands there waiting meditating waiting for Vern Gagne what does the brown bear have planned a neck breaker goes into a cover but the champ kicks out at one brown bear is going to have to work a little harder to get this first fall Got Gunny up on his shoulders. Gunny reverses it and falls backwards, dropping Brown Bear on the back of his head. A 
Reversal after reversal, and Gagne throws him, using his, the power in his legs. Dragging Brown Bear into the ring, going for the cover. And Brown Bear kicks out at one. Now Gagne is going to have to work harder to retain this title and get the first of what has to be two falls in order to maintain the championship. Brown Bear is up. Fireman's takedown. Gagne is up again. Brown Bear whips him into the ropes. Drops down with a back elbow. And the champ is down again. Brown Bear whipping Gagne's head down and then the back whiplash is tremendous. But Gagne is able to kick Brown Bear off. Arm drag takedown. Goes for a suplex. Now what's Bear got in mind? Hard right hand. Gagne rolls out of the ring and Brown Bear follows. Gagne with a side leg sweep. And the referee has started the count. Going for a suplex. Oh, Brown Bear hits hard on the on the bottom of his spine, crashing on the floor here at the Ottawa Auditorium. Now Gagne going for another suplé. And looking for approval from the fans. Gagne throws Brown Bear in. And both men, competitors, are back in the ring. Five minutes have gone by in this. And Gagne with a rolling uh, chest lock. Brown Bear with a leg screw takedown. The match continues to go back and forth. <clears throat> Gagne fights him off. Now what's he going to do? Looking for another rolling uh, waist lock. But he lets Brown Bear go. Misses with a clothesline. And the Bear with an uppercut. These two young studs in Canadian wrestling going at it. The stud of word 1950. Front face lock into a into an uppercut. Brown bear with a northern light suplex. Tremendous lariat. And Gagne rolls out of the ring again. We are still in the first fall in this Canadian championship matchup on Friday night. April 14th, 1950. Gagne misses him with a kick. Ties him up from behind. Back suplex on the floor. That could be it if he can get him in the ring. Gonna slam him head first into the, the ring steps. That one rocked Gagne. It'll be amazing if he's not bleeding after that. Throws Gagne back in the ring. Bear follows him in. Deep elbow and then a, a forearm smash. And I do believe Gagne is bleeding. And we have not seen a clear picture of his face. Yes, his face is a crimson mask. But Gagne is fighting back. The taste of his own blood has all of a sudden locked him in. And a sleeper hold. Gagne's got him on the mat. He's got the sleeper hold. And that is the... No. No. Brown Bear gets up. Flips Gagne off. I thought Brown Bear was done, but Gagne, he's able to fight back. Going with the leg takedown and going for a leg lock. Nope. Slams him leg first. But Gagne fights off. What a matchup here, ladies and gentlemen. Uppercut from Brown Bear. Scoop and a slam. Now Brown Bear taking his time, adjusting his singlet, waiting for Vern Gagne to make a move. But Gagne crawling across the ring. He can't have much left. But Bear perhaps, oh, he baited him. He waited and baited him. Belly to belly suplex. 
And now, once again, the challenger waits. He's going to go for the cover this time. One, two, and Gagne kicks out. What a tremendous back-and-forth match for the Canadian Championship. These two young men are leaving it all on the line, trying to win the gold. Brown Bear with a chin lock. Gagne fighting up to his feet. Delivering some elbows. He fights out of the, the hold. And Gagne whips him into the corner. A reverse sleeper hold. But Brown Bear fights out of it. What is Gagne going to have to do to get a fall? Kind of a reverse slam out of Bear. And the challenger going to drag the champ in the center of the ring. And he goes for the cover. And Gagne kicks out. Unbelievable match so far. The first fall in this championship match. We are 10 minutes in. Brown Bear signaling to the fans that this could be it. He's ready to eliminate. We get the first fall. Going for a back and chin hold. A clutch type. And that is the end of the first fall. Gagne has to give up. And of course in Canada, the match continues right away. Bell oh no, Gagne blocks it. That was at 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Gagne with a knife edge chop. Putting the bear up on the ropes. What does he have in mind here? The, this, Gagne has lost so much blood at this point. He can't be thinking straight. Oh my goodness. This could devastate the, the challenger. A uh, suplex off the top rope. you got to be kidding me. It's amazing Gagne even got up. Now going to reverse the spin bear down. Less than a minute ago, Gagne submitted. And now he's going for a cover. No! Brown Bear kicks out. And Gagne can't believe it. His title is in jeopardy. If he loses one more fall, Bear will be the champion. And a sleep hold, sleeper hold by Vern Gagne. He's put many men away with this. No! Brown Bear drops down and, and Gagne's jaw is rattled. Elbow to the throat. Hard right hand. Chop. And now he whipped. Oh, turns it around. Driving Gagne's head face first into the mat. Brown Bear sits down. Working on the leg. Gagne is, is, is goofy. Can't know much about what's going on up on his back. Gagne reversing it. Planting Brown Bear head first into the ring canvas. Brown Bear reversing whatever Gagne was trying and goes for a shoulder block. And now he's going for that clutch again. He got the first submission. He currently leads this match one fall to none. Gagne is able to get an arm free. And he breaks out of it. Unbelievable. Oh, Bear went right to the eye. The referee didn't see it. But Gagne is right back up. The blood all over his face now. Bear is well in control of this match. It's just a matter of time till we have a new champion. Bringing Gagne back in the ring. You've got to win the match inside the ring as Gagne has now got blood covering his chest as well as his head. <clears throat> Brown Bear with that reverse slam again. Goes for the cover. And then dominating. No! That was two? I thought he had it. Somehow Gagne at the very last split second able to get his shoulder up. And Gagne reverses the move. Diving leg lariat. Brown Bear with a takedown. How much more can Gagne take? His title is in jeopardy here. Brown Bear. Now he's going to put Gagne up. Payback for what Gagne did to him earlier with a superplex off the top rope. Brown Bear going up. He's going to try the same maneuver. He'll be wondering if either of these men are able to walk after this match is done. Both are down. Brown Bear slowly gets to his feet. Bringing Verd Gagne up. Superhuman effort out of both men 
on his shoulders now. Gagne fighting free. Uppercut from Gagne. Whooping Brown Bear into the ropes. And he's stomping away. And now Gagne with a reverse sleeper hold. Can't tell. It looked like Brown Bear's head is almost free. And he is. He is going to be able to use the knee to get free. Doesn't seem like there's anything Gagne can do to win this match. Knife edge chop on Brown Bear. Missing with a wild punch. Missing with a clothesline. He might, did he get some of it? Because Brown Bear hasn't moved. It looked like he ducked down to me, but goes for the cover. And Brown Bear kicks out. We are 15 minutes into this match in the second fall for the Canadian Heavyweight Championship. The challenger, Chief Brown Bear, leads Vern Gagne. One fall to none. And now he's coming out with some fists. Going for that reverse slam once again. Can Brown Bear secure the second fall and win the title? His first championship. One, two, and no. Vern Gagne kicks out. You can't keep this Minnesotan down. Gagne is splitting his time currently wrestling in Texas and here in Ottawa. Brown Bear with a kick to the back of the leg. Goes for setting up that move probably for the Indian Deathlock. Drops a knee. He measured that right across the bloodied forehead of the champion. Oh, but Gagne fighting back. Sweeps the leg. Takes him down. And a simple arm bar. Wrist lock. Grabbing Chief Brown Bear, who is also now bleeding. The war paint has stayed, but the blood is flowing. Brown Bear fighting out of the hold now, trying to get his arm loose. Front chancery. Going for a snap suplex. And he's waiting for Brown Bear to get up. And the sleeper hold from Gagne. For the fourth or fifth time now, he's locked on a sleeper hold. And that is the end of the second fall. 16 minutes and 50 seconds, and we are even at one. Now Brown Bear fighting back. Clubbing blow to the back of Gagne's head. The winner of this fall will be the Canadian champion. A deadlift suplex into a backdrop. These men are going to have to reach down deep and find something. Find that extra fight, that extra power as Gagne fights back off. Brown Bear winning a number one contendership match just two weeks ago. Gets his first opportunity at a championship. Gagne with a small package roll up. One. And no, the referee was way slow on that count as Brown Bear is able to kick out. Gagne with a roll. Take down from Brown Bear. Going for that reverse slam again. That's one of Brown Bear's signature maneuvers apparently. Dragging Gagne into the center of the ring. Goes for the cover. And we have a new winner. 18 minutes in. Winning two falls to one. Chief Brown Bear. A bloodied mess. Both men. Fireman's Takedown is the brand new Canadian Heavyweight Championship. Apparently defending the title on TV is cursed as no man has successfully done it yet. Rolling sleeper. Both men fighting everything they had. And the Chief Here is the is brand new winner. Canadian Heavyweight Thank Champion. You. Chief Brown Bear, for the first time in his career, he has gold. As he is the champion here in Ottawa now. Classic match, definitely the best match yet in our small, limited four-month history here on Canadian television. Thanks for joining us. Until next time here on Canadian Wrestling, we will see you.